How to upgrade to Mac Operating System Ventura or Mac OS Ventura Operating System. Now Ventura, according to my intelligence gathering, will be released on October 24th. However, I do not know 100%. Most likely it will be October 24th, later this month. If not, it will be sometime in the future. And this video will still be apropos. Now I'm going to describe to you how to update your Mac operating system. All right. What you do is you open up system preferences. So from the Apple menu on an Apple Mac and crap computer, the Apple menu is at the top. And then you'll want to look for the little Apple menu icon, the little Apple. And then, so click on that then choose system preferences and also a caveat always always back up your data I am not responsible for your data never I never recommend I never guarantee I never give out advice I am not responsible for your data you're gonna have to back it up if you lose any of it and you didn't follow my warning that's not my fault now then you will select software update in the system preferences window and it will look similar to this this image right here all right software update has a progress indicator it software update is a tool that checks for any software available and that includes new Macintosh operating system versions so if you have Sierra, High Sierra, El Capitan, Catalina, whatever. You can possibly upgrade it to Ventura. And this is how you do it. And then I'm going to give you some tips. My first tip is check for any software updates. I'm not, now I'm not talking about operating system. If it detects Ventura, don't upgrade to it until you install any previous updates and that includes software any software on your Macintosh alright install any system updates or any software updates first that's my first tip second tip is install any operating system updates not upgrade alright so let's say you have Catalina, what is Catalina? 10.16, whatever, whatever it is. I think it's 10.16. I could be incorrect. Each operating system has a number also. It could be, you know, let's say it is Catalina, and then it would be 10.16. You may have 10.16.1 installed, and there's a update to the operating system. It would be 10.16.2. Go ahead and install any operating system updates first. So what you want to do is you want to clear out software update. You don't want to see any more updates except for one, which is technically an upgrade. It'll say, right, like right here. You notice how it says right here? Mac OS Monterey upgrade now. Yes, and look at the size of it. It's 12.0.1 and it's 12.13, 12.13 gigabytes. That's the only item that should be listed. It should say Ventura. And then it'll tell you the version number and it'll tell you the size. When you're at that point, then go ahead and upgrade. Now, in order to update or upgrade any software, you just either click on Update Now or Upgrade Now for the software you may have to restart your computer if it is a operating system update or an upgrade yes you may have to restart your computer you may also be asked to enter in your administrator password if you do not know your administrator password your sol i mean no no that, i'm not going to discuss that actually i could record a video there's like what three or four different ways to reset your password believe it or not on a mac and crap okay now this should be blank 
if software update finally says that your Macintosh is up to date and then there's no other software or operating system updates or operating system upgrades, it's completely blank. Well, except for the one, except for Venture, then you're good to go. All right. Now, there could be a reason, I don't know why, but if you cannot find software update, it looks just like this. And it's, it's available through system preferences. Remember, you click the Apple icon from the top Apple menu and you choose system preferences and you select software update. It may not be available. I think most modern versions of Mac and crap operating system, it should be available. You may have an older operating system or because I think by default now, I think back in the day, you used to have to upgrade your operating system and update your software and blah, 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 blah using the Apple Store application. But I, I think it's embedded. But, but you know, I, I'm anyways, I, I'm not really, I'm proficient in Macintosh. I've used them. But, okay, let's move along. In case, just in case you do not see software update, what you do is you can use a search tool you go to system preferences and then look for search and then type in software update to search for it maybe I don't know it could be a bug or I don't know I don't know maybe it just doesn't show up or maybe it's negligent or maybe it's on it's sick and tired of you and it is you know demands more money from you <laughs> I don't I don't know man Okay, now if you still cannot find it, what you can do is that your version of Macintosh operating system may not include software update. I think I could be wrong, but I think it's older versions of, of Mac and crap operating system. But just in case, you would open the Apple Application Store application. So select the App Store app. I, I do not like acronyms and I do not like words that are shortened. That's why I have a penchant and... I speak in full words, but you can look for App Store, which really stands for Application Store for Apple. It's a separate application, which you can find in the doc. The doc is below, down below. As above, so below, say those lunatic secret society member Freemasons. I mean, oops, oops. I'm sorry about that digression, and you, we censor YouTube. They will not like that kind of speak, so I better not. Okay, so the app store which is application store it's a separate application is available on the dock so the, your dock is down below is that that bar where it's got all kinds of icons okay or another way to find app store is go to applications folder and then look for app store and open it up and then you would choose updates the update tabs in the app store and then that way you can check for updates that and then okay you can also use your web browser. This is a little bit of a bonus. How much time do I have left? Okay, I'm over in I'm already into overtime. Oh, let's see. I think I will save that for last. Okay. Now, this is a bonus tip. This is overtime. This is basically how you uh, can upgrade Apple Mac and crap operating system to Ventura. I have. I'm a real-world computer technician. I do have experience with Apple Mac and crap. I'm self-taught. I never went to and got certified for Apple. No, I just learned. And and this is a true story. When I was a information technology technician, meaning I had a job and I had a, a nasty, angry boss that a female and, and or a male. You know, you know what I mean. And they were just awful towards me, and they abused me, and they just used me. I I never ever saw a Macintosh ever and I've worked for large companies billion dollar companies I've worked for the United States federal government supporting computers not once that I've ever seen an Apple computer ever in a corporate environment I think maybe one time but I don't think so never 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 saw any Macintosh computers it's almost always a personal computer and most times it is Microsoft Windows it was not until I was self-employed, and then uh, what was it? Five years ago, a, another business, which I'm not going to tell you. It, it's a pretty large business. They called me and they asked for my services, 
and I really had not used a modern Macintosh computer that often. I, I've never owned one. However, I have recycled them, and, and I know how to upgrade the operating. That's my point. I know how to use them, and I know how to upgrade them, and I learned. I had another customer that I used to install the Apple Macintosh operating system for him. And then I would charge him a certain fee for for that. And he would bring me in all kinds of computers that he was trying to resell or whatever he was doing. And so I learned how to install the operating system. And this is the, just about the quickest way. Now, here's some bonus information. If you cannot, for it, there, it, maybe, maybe it's erring out. Maybe you're trying to upgrade from... I'm going to have to extend this video because I'm thinking of all kinds of additional tips that may be beneficial. When it comes to upgrading Ma Apple Macintosh, it can be real. Number number one in my overtime bonus tips is tr find out what operating system the hardware is compatible with. You have to know that. You may you may be able to open a system update or software update. You may be able to open up the App Store. However, n n there is no entry for Ventura or any newer operating system. It could be because your the hardware is too old. All right, there is a table. I might look it up. That might be the last thing I show. That would be triple overtime. There is a support article from Apple that shows all of the Apple operating systems and what hardware is compatible. And then I think for every operating system, there's a separate page. Very important. That could be why you don't see it, or you may see Ventura, but it, it goes to upgrade and you, you start to get problems. All right. So number one is make sure that the, the hardware you're using is compatible with Ventura. Number two, go and install all the updates. Number three, if it, if it fails or it is not successful using the software update, try it through the application store, believe it or not. Just try it. You know what I'm saying, and I think Application Store also gets updated, so you may want to make you want to make sure that's updated too. <laughs> okay, so that's two ways to upgrade. Actually, here's a, a third way to technically upgrade to Ventura. What you do is you download. How to download Apple Macintosh operating system? Now, if you notice, I I was wrong about the Catalina version. I think I told you ten to fifteen. 16. Oh, well, I'm close. I'm close. Again, m me being able... I, I can support three different operating systems. Major. I can support Microsoft Windows. I can support Apple Macintosh operating system. I can support Linux operating systems. How many technicians on YouTube can tell you that? And how many technicians on YouTube that are not shills have real-world experience supporting all three of the major operating systems? Okay. Now, it's not on this list yet, but in the future, it may be. What you would do is you would look for Ventura, and then you would click on the link. Here's an example. This is a direct link using the Mac Store, all right? I, I'll give you an example. How about, okay, how about this one? How about Catalina? You would, you would it's just a hype, it's just a link. And then it's not going to open. You know why? Because I'm not on a Apple computer. But if you're on an Apple computer, it, you'll be able to see it. It's a separate page that you can download and install Ventura. Now, I'm not sure when that's going to be available. You know what I'm saying? But you can look for it in the future. Now, in this is a direct link to the App Store. All right? It, in the application store or in the app store, then you would click on the get button to begin downloading. All right. It's a lengthy download. It's going to be a gigabyte. So you want, might want to be patient, but eventually it'll, it'll prompt you. It should open automatically, but I'll give you another tip just in case it does not. You can go to the application folder. You can use finder. If you do not un know how to use finder if you never heard of it or if you're you know you're just kind of not quite sure yet i recommend well i don't recommend anything here's another tip you want to become an expert with finder finder is just a tool on an apple mac and crop computer that it's apropos 
A lot of computer terms are logical. They make write the word finder. Well, duh, the, the short word is find. Finder helps you find applications, documents, pictures, data. Finder helps you find most important items on a Macintosh. I'm not going to go through all of it because it gets more technical than that. But you would use Finder. It's a separate application. And then you browse to the applications folder. And then you look for the download. You look for Ventura. And then you double click it in case it didn't open up for some reason. All right. And then you just follow the, the instructions to install. Again, you may have to provide your administrator password. I do not think you would have to restart your computer unless... The upgrade notices that maybe you have some updates that you installed that you didn't restart. Here, here's another tip. Whenever the, the operating system asks you to restart, just go ahead and restart it. And that includes er, er, updates. Now, you can, you can try to install all of the software updates or any or system updates you know in, in like batches but here's another tip if you're having problems installing updates in batches maybe 5 10 20 or and then what you do is you install them one at a time or you install or you let's say you have 20 you can choose 5 and try to install 5 at a time microsoft and apple i've noticed a pattern Especially Microsoft, but even even app and even Apple on Linux, I don't have this problem like almost never or it's rare or whatever. It could it could be one update is problematic, and so if you're trying to install multiple updates, when it gets it installs them in order. When it finally gets to the update that is causing a problem, it will cause all the other ones not to install because you're trying to install them in like batches. So what you do is you just limit it. If you don't have that many, let's say you only have five, what you could do is install each update one at a time. And it and they are historical. They are linear. You know what I'm saying? They are sequential. So what you do is you install the oldest one first. And then if it requires a restart, I think it's a it's Apropos, I think it's productive that you go ahead and restart after each update. I know, I know, I know it's a pain in the derriere. I know. Apple, Mac, and crap, Microsoft, they can be slow. The boots can be slow. But I'm telling you as a real-world technician that makes a living, you know, supporting these kind of shenanigans, it may save you actually time in the long run. But my point is that definitely restart your Apple Macintosh computer after you install any updates or or even an operating system update or even an upgrade. Just just do it. Because if you leave your computer without restarting and you you may run into some weird crap. <laughs> I think this video is long enough. But I hey, I gave you a ton of tips. And I basically with my with this video you could you could learn how to install you know Apple operating system you you could learn how to update it from one mate you know one version that has a, an update from like you know 15.1 to 15.3 you would be able to upgrade and you would have other ways to to upgrade Ventura now in this video I didn't include it but I will mention it there is a way to install, and I think, well, I don't even know if I want to go into that. You know what? I promised you that I would try to look up that list. I know this video, it's not bad, 19 minutes. Okay, let me transition, and I'm going to find that list as an added bonus. While I, while I try to find that, there's, oops. There's a special way. No, I'm I'm good. There's a special way that w that you can boot into Macintosh, a separate mode, without booting the operating system. It's called it's like a recovery mode. But I, I'll mention that last. But I'm not no no I'm not gonna go into major details because that that to me, yeah that is more advanced. 
Okay, let me find that list. Let me put down my mic. My I never script my videos. These are 100% freestyle, and if you have a problem with that, I just don't care. No, I don't waste time editing. I don't waste time running it through a converter. And oh, no. Okay, let me show you what I was talking about. I found two of them in a quick search. Okay, so here's a page right here. Mac OS Catalina is compatible with these computers. This is what you want to find right here. Mac right here. It, it deals with the hardware. Learn how, and then there's another separate article that shows you how to learn how to identify your MacBook Pro. The, the year, it, it's, it's based upon the year, all right? Generally, generally, the older the Apple Macintosh computer, the less likely that you'll be able to install newer versions of the operating system. But this is a table right here. Okay, MacBook Air, MacBook Pro. These are all the hardware that Catalina is compatible with. If, as an example, your Apple Mac and crap computer is not on this list, it's based by year and it's based by the the type. You cannot install Catalina. This is just an example. This is very important because what you'll do is this could be a mistake that a lot of people make. They wonder why they can't. They wonder why that the like, as an example, Ventura doesn't show up in software update. Then they try to open up that. Apple App Store and it's not listed then they try to find a link to the Apple App Store like like I showed you a download link and they, they, they can't find it well it's because they did not check the hardware compatibility all right so that can save you a lot of time and frustration and, and some people may have even just tried to wipe the <laughs> reinstall the operating system because and because they, they, they thought that would fix it no no. <laughs> no, I'm not laughing at them. I'm just la I'm laughing because when you learn, you know, when you're a real technician and you learn all this stuff, oh man, you can save yourself a ton of time. And and a lot of times it's not even that difficult. Whereas other people, they think they know everything and and <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Okay. All right. Now my last my last is I'll give you a, another bonus. Wow, man, I'm giving you way too much information. This is absurd. I would normally charge about ten thousand dollars, <laughs> thousand for this information. Okay, I'll give you now. Oh, let me show you that search. What? So what you'll do is is probably it's not available yet, but you could type in Apple Ventura compatibility list and look for one of these. This was a, this was Monterey's. It's a, it's basically the same page. Well, it's not the exact same. Each Apple support article has a static number, okay, that I highlight. But this is another example. You want to find this one for Ventura, okay? And then if you do not know what operating system you, your computer, your Apple Macintosh is, well, the hardware, you can go to right here on screen. You would go to about this Mac, all right? You, again, the, you go to the uh, the top Apple menu, look for the Apple icon, the tiny little Apple icon, and then choose about this Mac, and it'll tell you right here, right here, right here. Look, MacBook Pro, 15-inch, 2017. Bam! I just I'm I'm giving you way too much information. This is just absurd. I don't know what my problem is. <laughs> Oh, here's another one. Here's Big Sur. Mac OS Big Sur is compatible with these computers. And if you notice a pattern, the best search would probably be Ventura. Mac OS Ventura is compatible with these computers. And then, bam, you'll find it. You should find it within seconds in an internet search. Now, finally, my last, I almost never discuss this because this is, this is like information. Look, 
you, you can make a lot of money as a computer technician if you know if you know a lot because your time and your expertise is valuable and I don't know of that many technicians that actually support all three major operating systems I've never met one in real life that made money because well Linux there is not much money you can make but there is some but it's it's not the market share just isn't there there's not enough demand for it but I I, I learned and so I can make a little bit of money with Linux what here I mean I'll just tell you a real story there are some computers that are older and some people may not think that they're valuable but I actually used to install Linux on them I used to format I used to scrub the hard drive with Derek's boot and nuke and then install Linux and then and and then I would sell it that way and I would advertise it on the internet you know blah 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 use computer use computer with Linux already installed and oh and they sell pretty fast you know why because I took the time to already install the operating system for them and a lot of times the customers were people that were wanting to learn how to use Linux but they didn't know how to install the operating system so I saved them a lot of time and then at least they could at least they 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 would be able to access Linux and learn first. And then after that, then maybe they learn how to install the operating system. Okay. Now, okay, let me look for the... Let me put down my microphone and I'm going to perform a quick search. Okay, I think it is Mac OS Recovery. It's been a few years because I don't access Macintosh, their hardware anymore. Because I used to, I don't do that kind of work anymore. Okay, let me let me show you. Here it is right here. Now, what you can do is you can boot your Macintosh into a recovery mode. All right? And then within recovery mode, guess what there is? There is an option that you can install the operating system in recovery mode and now it depends on your Macintosh so that's why I, ne I almost never discuss this because it's advanced and actually not the the keystrokes are not all the same so you're gonna have to now I'm not gonna discuss that any further now right here here it is right here see I know what I'm talking about look install Mac OS you can reinstall Mac OS on your computer in recovery app you would then choose restall reinstall Mac OS BAM do you not understand the ramifications this is how I learned to install operating systems on those Macintosh computers that one customer would bring to me he did not know how to install the operating system I did because I learned and you do not number you do not have to have an operating system booted the the hard drive could be scrubbed but you do have to have a hard drive and then you boot it into recovery mode, all right? And then what you're going to do is look for install macOS. Now, here's another tip. If you use this option, if you use this, you're going to use it with my warning, is that I'm not responsible for any data or any of that. But here's a bonus tip. You, what, you may not be able to install Ventura directly. Then here's a tip I learned. What you do is you go into install macOS, and then look for the newest operating system available okay and install that one it may be Catalina or and this is now this is really a tip out this is just bonus 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 times 10 this could be gold this could be fool's gold if you're smart enough what you do is you is you can skip now, if you had to go back like five versions of Macintosh operating system, and then then go and then up and then upgrade to the you know, like example, you would go back to 10.12, then then upgrade to 10.12. Excuse me, 13, then 14, then 15, and then finally Ventura. Well, <laughs> well, holy crap! What you can do is you can learn to skip. 
at, try to skip as many operating systems in between that is available okay but that is a bonus tip it is it, what are they actually they used to call it internet here let me look that one up they may have changed the language apple internet Okay, let my I need to run, but yeah, here's what I found. There, I they may have changed the verbiage, but it is recovery mode. But it, I swear, I swear it it had it used the word internet. They may not use it in the lexicon anymore, but it oh right here, how to reinstall macOS with internet recovery mode. Okay, they may have taken the word internet out of it, or I don't know. But I think I thought back in the day they actually used use the word internet. Oh yeah, here here these instructions yes they still may be used. Starting internet recovery. Okay, now here's obviously you have to have internet access. So you're because get it you're downloading and you don't again remember you don't need an operating system you just need a hard drive that's formatted that that isn't broken yeah that's all you need. You don't need to boot up into an operating system. This is how you can reinstall the operating system on an Apple Macintosh f from scratch. And you can wipe it. Yeah, see? So anybody can do this if they learn how. And But you have to have internet access. You have to either plug in with the Ethernet or Wi-Fi. Yes, th this recovery mode allows you to connect to a wireless router because I've, I've done it. All right? Now, but here's a tip: if you, if it's a laptop, make sure it's, it's plugged in. You want to keep the laptop powered into the wall. You don't, no, no, never, never, ever upgrade, never install operating system off a battery because you never know the battery could discharge at a faster rate, or you could forget, or you may not know how the 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 indicator may be wrong, and then the operating system and it, it fails, and okay. Any other tips? Why wireless? Now, my last tip. I w I think it's better if you use a wi a wire. So if you have an Ethernet, if you have a switch, a hub, or a router that has Ethernet connections on the back, you want to use a w Ethernet connection, which is a RJ45 cable, which is so you're going to plug in. Because you never know, Wi-Fi can be flaky. Now, no, no, no. I'm not saying don't do it because I actually have done it. Most of my la the last you know, a few years that I actually installed Macintosh operating system was almost always over Wi-Fi. But you just, Wi-Fi is not, it can be flaky. So you may, but just so, my tip is to use a cable whenever you can. But if, if but it will upgrade over Wi-Fi. And it is available. That is an option. So that tells me that it is, it, I, if, if, Upgrading or installing operating system over Wi-Fi over wireless caused too many problems. I would think that Apple wouldn't even allow that option. Okay, Whew, I'm to, I'm wow man, this is a, an exhausting video. I know it's lengthy. I know it's over thirty minutes, but I'm telling you, I gave you, I gave you so much information, and you can always pause the video. You can rewatch it. I mean. If you learn how to install and upgrade on your own, man, you, you could potentially save thousands of dollars and you don't need to take your computer to the snobs at the the Apple store. I mean, oops. <laughs> okay. How to upgrade to Mac OS Venture Operating System. Adios.